Hi guys, welcome back to Be Adventures. We've got a little bit of a tech video today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about RAM upgrades, laptop RAM upgrades specifically. Now basically it's a very quick and easy way to increase the performance of an old laptop. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, step one is does your computer need RAM? Now mine, uh, for, I can speak to my own case, uh, my uh, black 13 inch uh, Sony Vio, great laptop, I've had it for six years. So already six years it's a very old laptop. It served me very well but I did notice the performance getting slower and usually uh, in like the tech industry with IT, uh, usually RAM is a type of flash memory, random access memory. So electronic or flash memory tends to burn out after about five years anyway. So one, we already know that. Uh, two, hard drives, uh, SATA hard drives or traditional hard drives tend to burn out after five years as well. So my point is already my computer is six years old, so the, the RAM is probably burning out. Uh, and it has become noticeably slower and has been overheating. And uh, I did um, clean it out, clean out the cooling fan to help reduce the overheating, that worked great. But I was noticing the performance has been very sluggish recently. So I've determined, yes, I will upgrade the RAM. Step two, find the right kind of RAM. Now, I actually went to my manufacturer website for that specific model and uh, for my laptop, and it did recommend that it can be upgraded to 8GB of RAM, and it specified the type, like DDR3 RAM. Uh, the point is, uh, my computer came with uh, four gigabytes of RAM from the factory. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade to eight. So that's what the manufacturer recommended, and I found the compatible type of RAM, meaning it was DDR3 of a certain speed. So I decided to stick with DDR3 of that same speed. So that's something you guys need to go investigate, find out if it's appropriate or not. But the reason why, if you use different types of speed, they may not be compatible. So there's different speeds of RAM. But obviously just try to stick with what's compatible, you know, what's recommended. There is also a good website called Crucial. I'll put a link below, Crucial website. And they offer a tool that helps find compatible upgrades and parts. So it's not perfect, but just, a, you know, there's plenty of resources out there, so you guys need to go investigate that and determine what's uh, appropriate or not, or what's compatible or not. Okay, and uh, let's get started. We'll move on to step three. Okay, guys, now before we get started, I wanted to include a bonus tip. This being an older laptop, uh, it had accumulated a lot of dust and, you know, uh, fluff and lint. So what you can do especially if you have one of these uh, hose vacuums, you can just get you know, the, the open nozzle, obviously make sure it's turned off, and you can vacuum the keyboard, and you guys know what I mean, some of you are naughty, you eat on your laptop, you've got crumbs and hair and lint and dust. So one, it cleans up the keyboard, okay? But two, you can use one of these uh, nozzle attachments if you want to get a bit finer. So many different models, so many different manufacturers, some have the vents up here, some have tiny little vents so it lets you get in there. This is for the noobs and also just basic maintenance, guys. Nothing fancy. If you look at my design on this uh, Sony Vio, see the, the vents are here. Oh, working one-handed. See, that's actually the heat sink. There's actually like some metal and copper, a copper tube that goes to the cooling fan in here. So you can use that nozzle, as I was showing, I'll just adjust. You can get like a nozzle type vacuum like this and just to externally suck out all the hair and junk. So I had a lot of dust and lint built up, like that was clogged up with hair. So I just cleaned that out. And then obviously on the back here, you can see the design again. There's more, more cooling vents here. So I could just suck all that out. Here, here. You guys get the idea. Okay, so ideally you actually open this up. So a friend and I actually did that. We actually cracked this open. We broke the seal. It was a very fiddly removed all the screws, we opened it up, the cooling fan was around here, and it was full of dust. So obviously that's ideally, and then we had to scoop all that dust out and clean it out. And like I said, then we vacuumed it out. So that definitely helped with cooling problems or, or overheating problems. This was overheating a lot, and it is getting older, you know. Six years later, of course, things accumulate, a lot of dust accumulates. So that, but that's just a, a basic tip. You know, if you don't want to disassemble the whole thing, it's just a nice bit of maintenance just to vacuum around and get all that dust out. Okay, moving on. So let's actually get started. Uh, let's go to step three. So I've actually um, washed my hands thoroughly with soap. The reason why the water helps remove electrostatic um, discharge, meaning there's natural electricity in your body, okay? And that can build up and zap components and damage your computer. And of course, damage 
the RAM, we're going to be putting these memory sticks in. This RAM, okay? So we don't want to damage any of that. Uh, so like I said, you can just simply wash your hands, uh, you know, thoroughly, and that also removes any natural acid, sweat, oil, you know, your hands might be dirty. Okay. Uh, secondly, uh, try not to work on carpet. So just by walking and working on carpet, the carpet can naturally build up static electricity. Okay, and you can also use an anti-static wrist pad. All right, and just me being me, I like to use gloves just to be clean and again, just for, just me, you know. You don't have to, but I like to wear gloves. All right. Okay, now step four, turn off your computer and make sure it's not plugged into the power, okay? And also take out your battery. So obviously there's no power, nothing's plugged in, it's turned off. And I'm gonna take out my battery. Okay. All right, just to make sure there's no electricity. Also, uh, I'm sorry if I didn't cover it properly, you can also ground yourself to the computer, meaning you touch a metal component and you touch a metal computer component on the computer. Even, even like now, even though I'm wearing gloves, you can just touch the computer, hold it for a while, and it grounds you to the computer. So again, reducing the risk of ESD or electrostatic discharge. Okay. I've got a screwdriver. So this is my RAM uh, area here. So locate your RAM bank. So for me, I'm lucky, this being an older laptop, they designed it this way, here's the hard drive, here's the RAM. So, let's get this bad boy open. Okay. I already loosened that up just to speed things up. Okay. And there you go. So very carefully bring that up to the camera, see? There's the original RAM. Okay. And that's the thing, guys, you don't know, sometimes um, the manufacturer is using a a simple cheap type of RAM but anyway they're these uh, locks and you pull them to the side and then the RAM pops up it's spring-loaded so again why I'm uh, wearing gloves I don't want to sort of uh, get sweat or grime or do any sort of uh, anything that might damage the components okay so we're going to install the new memory now I'm going to take the old memory out See, I pulled it to the side. It came up on a 45 degree angle. It's going to carefully pull it out. See how I'm touching the sides? I know some guys are a bit more uh, uh, free and they just touch everything. I just I don't recommend touching those modules. See those black chips? Computer chips? Those modules... I don't want to touch it with metal. See those black modules there? They actually hold the memory. So these are the things holding memory. Just like on a memory stick, like a USB memory stick, I've actually opened them up and you see the same thing, these black memory chips or modules, and that's your memory. Never touch this gold here. Those gold pins, okay, those gold-plated edges are the connectors to the memory modules. And that is the electrical doorway, okay, to the memory. So you can actually damage the memory or you can actually damage the computer, okay? So never touch those. And can you see why I'm being so careful wearing gloves? I know some, some people don't bother, I'm just doing a quick demo. I have done this before, guys, many years ago. I'm not an expert, okay? I'm not an expert. I'm just trying to share the experience with you guys. Maybe you can learn something too, okay? And I'm on a clean working area, and also um, I'm not working on carpet. I'm working on tiles, so hopefully no static electricity. So here's my lovely new RAM. Okay, so... Same thing, guys. Remember, we don't want to touch the gold, so I've got to be careful even in the packaging. I've got to carefully get this out. And see, I might end up touching the memory modules, you see? That's why I'm wearing gloves. So, same thing, reverse order. I'm just going to slot this in on a 45-degree angle. Okay, see how it's just slotted in there? See, like that? Yeah? And then we're going to just push it back in with a click. Beautiful. You heard that click? So just clicked the, into, into these locking tabs. Okay. It's okay, we'll keep going. Same thing. Can you see why I'm being so careful, guys? Even the nature of this packaging, very nice, very protected. But I could have easily touched any of... I'm already touching it now. Just trying to get it out. Okay. Oh, see, I'm touching... Oh, I'm touching the gold. But remember, I was wearing gloves. 
okay, and I've been very cautious. So, so I mean, guys, it's it's very easy to inadvertently touch things you're not supposed to. Okay, so there you go, guys. It's locked in again. I'll show you one more time. See, it's locked in. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll just push it back down into those locking tabs very carefully. Come on, baby. Just make sure it's all being snug. Okay, that's it. All right, so we're going to put it back together. So I'm very lucky, even though this is not all the model, it was it was designed to be upgraded, as you can see. It's just a nice little separate section there. You don't have to take the whole thing apart. That's why I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, that's it. It's a nice hand tighten. Okay. All right, let's get my battery back in. Okay, that's actually a locking tab. Okay. And then, step seven, let's test the upgrade. We'll just do a quick test, just to show you. So we're gonna go down to the menu down here. I'm gonna type in system. That's all you need to do, especially on Windows. See, up here, to the left, it says system info. Let's go to that. Okay, and I'm just going to scroll down and just see, it gives you all the information, like you're running Windows 10, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to make sure it's recognizing it. Yep, it is. So, I'm going to give you guys a quick close-up. Again, apologies doing this freehand. See, I'm using Windows 10 Pro, blah, blah, blah. It's all that technical information. And, see, it's got 8 gig of RAM now, so there's the upgrade. It had 4 gig before, now it's got 8, so th there you go, it automatically recognize it, fantastic. Alright, so success. So, you know, keep testing it, keep playing around with it. Okay, keep testing it, keep playing around with it, just to make sure your upgrade went okay, and you get your performance gains, and, okay, that's it guys. Okay, there you have it guys, not too difficult. Um, you know, just be careful, like I said, just make sure you prep properly and you know, do the whole make sure, destatisfy yourself for uh, e, e, um, electronic static discharge ESD, but you know, wear gloves, whatever or not. Uh, but yeah, look, I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know in the comment section, have you guys done RAM upgrades before? You know, hope it worked out for you guys too. Uh, you know, and it's a great way to uh, increase performance and uh, it was very affordable. I believe I paid about $56, including shipping and everything. I got paid about $56 for those two sticks of RAM. So, uh, eight gigabytes in total RAM. And that's uh, $56 Australian. So you guys can convert it into your local currency. So it was very affordable, uh, great upgrade. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.